so as I mentioned, my big unit there, my 10,000 BTU, uh, I think that's a Kenmore. Uh, after about 30 years, finally died. Um, no bringing it back. So I went out and bought what I could afford, which was this $200 8,000 BTU. Let me let me start by saying I put it in the window because it's so it's considerably smaller than that unit, and um, there are some there are some things I like about it. Um, according to the documentation, this should cool adequately cool a 3,000 up to a 350 foot room. This room is about 350. 45 square feet and it struggles I mean it's 90 degrees outside so it's hot but not super hot and I'm trying to keep it about 75 in here and it's just it's struggling um, so some but to get to some positives about it um, nice touch interface has three speeds and automatic it does three levels of cooling plus just acting as a humidifier dehumidifier which is nice uh, has energy saving mode a timer a sleep mode and um, comes with a remote which I thought oh how cheesy but there's actually a good reason for the remote the idea is that you take the remote to the, another part of the room where it's a little warmer and you press the sensor button and it senses what the current temperature is in here, which is, again, 76. It goes, okay, what am I set to? And then it try, it kicks on and tries to get the temperature over here. So, like, it's set at 70 right now. And um, so, um, so that works. And, it, frankly, it's kind of handy when the phone rings. I can just turn off the AC, talk... On high, it is kind of loud. I'm not going to lie. Uh, on medium or low, it's not bad. You could actually sleep in the same room with it, and it would be fine. Um, so that's the reason. That's the purpose behind the remote. It does make sense. Um, it's not displaying anything right now because I have the display turned off. Uh, you can turn that on, have it on all the time, or have it off. I, I just have it off. Um, now some things I don't care too much about with this unit. It's 8,000 BTU, that's 10. This thing is struggling to keep this room at a 75, 76 degree temperature. That thing had no problem getting this room to 65 if I wanted it to. This one, big difference. They had some nice features like it has the accordion uh, panels on either side and it has actual locks that you can screw down to your sash to hold them in place so that's nice <clears throat> each accordion has a hole and then the um, the top railing up here has a hole for a screw which is nice kind of holds everything in place and then there's this thing here oh you can't see it but there's a little bracket that they give you up that fits up here to keep your window from accidentally opening or keep anybody from opening your window which again is nice some of the downsides well one of the other downsides, let me go out here for a minute, is, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is sitting at three quarters of an inch drop from here to here. And they want three quarters to one inch. There's no way you can go an inch without it just falling out. Um, and so I got it to three quarters and I thought, fine. I turned it on after an hour. There was so much water built up in here that it was just kind of bubbling out. And I could feel it spitting out here because the fan was hitting the water that had collected here. I wound up having to drill a hole right here to drain the water. I shouldn't have to do that. That hole should already be there. I don't know what they were thinking. So just understand you may have to do that. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's anything I've done. I, you know, like I said, I can't tilt this back any further, and I don't understand why there's not a hole there. They claim this is an 8,000 BTU, and it would comfortably cool a 350 foot room, a uh, square foot room. I'm not buying it. I think a 300 foot or lower, a 300 square foot or lower room 
is more what this is for. This was $200 at Walmart. For, uh, the next size up is a 10,000 BTU. That was almost $100 more. I couldn't afford that, so I, I did get the window unit. It's better than nothing. Um, it is an Arctic King, and it's their 8,000 BTU model. Let me... Here's the box for it. Uh, so you can see it says 8,000 BTU, and it has three cooling... Three span, uh, fan speed, temperature sensing remote, filter reminder light, that is kind of nice, energy saver, electronic timer, um, quick install window kit. There was nothing quick about that, just so you know. Um, here's the model number. Uh, on Walmart's website, it had it listed for $190. When I got to the store, it was 206 So I brought that up, and they said the website was wrong. That was their answer. Okay, fine, whatever. I needed an AC unit and I wasn't going to pick her over $16, but it is what it is. So, if you're in the market for an 8000 BTU window unit, try a Kenmore or Admiral or somebody else. I do regret buying this, but since I put the hole in the back, I'm not going to return it. I will say it comes with plenty of cable or extent a power cord. Let's see, it goes a uh, I mean, there's, it's like balled up back here even. It's, it's definitely long enough. Um, not a lot of adjustment on the fins, but on these little window units, you don't get much. So it's about what you'd expect. So I can't complain really about that. Um, I haven't taken the uh, filter off yet, but I, as I understand it, it's just as easy as popping these off. And there is a, a handle here, so I just have to pop that. It'll probably work fine. Uh, probably come off pretty easily. There's one on this side too. Um, so that's my initial thoughts and uh, I, um, about this window unit. It's going to work. It's going to keep the room cool and free of humidity. That's what I needed. Uh, it's going to struggle to do it, however, which means its lifespan is going to drop dramatically. So overall. I'm okay with it. Uh, am I two hundred and six dollars okay with it plus tax? Well, eh. kind of wish I'd gone for the ten thousand BTU unit now, but again, it was money issue. So anyway, um, but I think in a small bedroom, this thing would be killer. Uh, you could probably put it on medium, even low, and just let it run, and it would probably do a great job cooling that room. So anyway, later. One other thing about the remote, uh, when you press this and say, okay, the temperature over here is warmer than over by the AC unit, uh, it only does this for about five minutes, and then it stops communicating with the uh, AC unit. According to the instructions, that's normal, that's how it's designed, so that if this is left outside or something, it doesn't keep your AC unit running. I'm sorry, three minutes is not enough time to change the room temperature two degrees across a 20-foot room. Um, so you constantly have to press that button. Uh, I'm not so sure I like that. And there's what it looks like with the LED on. Like I said, I just keep it off. Um, so just a heads up.